I just inserted an internal 3 terabyte hard drive into my Windows Home Server 2011. I go to my client computer and I click on Refresh the Alert Viewer. In the lower right hand corner you see a balloon pops up and I'll single click on that. At this point now I'm in the Alert Viewer and it says one or more unformatted hard disks are connected to the server. Now to resolve this alert I need to open the dashboard, launch the Alert Viewer, within the Alert Viewer select the alert and then install the hard drive that way. So what I'll do now is I'll log in to the dashboard. I'll speed this up eight times just to get through it real quick. Once the dashboard opens up, you can see I have my standard set of icons, including computers and backups and server folders and hard drives. Now if I click on server folders and hard drives and I go to the hard drive tab, you'll notice that the new drive is not here. That's because you do not add the drive through this interface. You need to follow the instructions and look for the informational alert on the right hand side. If you look for the little blue button with the white eye and click on that, this will bring up the alert viewer. Now you can see here it says open the dashboard, uh, go to the alert view, etc, etc. But down at the bottom it says tasks and it says format the hard drive. If you don't see that, go to the upper left and click on either refresh or the alert again, but you want to find format the hard disk. Once you click on that, it'll bring up the hard disk wizard. You can select the hard disk and click on format disk. This will now open it and it will erase the data and format it doing a quick format. Now because this is a three terabyte drive, it's gonna break it out into two partitions. From what I understand, Server 2008, which is the foundation for Windows Home Server 2011, has a maximum capacity of two terabytes when backing up a drive. So it puts 20, 40 gigabytes in one drive and then the remainder, 754, in another. Again, this is a limitation of Server 2008 and carries into Windows Home Server 2011. This prevents you from having a partition larger than the system will back up. Now the next thing that I can do is look here and you can see that I now have a drive E and a drive G, G being the two terabyte drive and E being the 754 remainder. What I'll do now is I'll close out the alert viewer and we'll verify our server folder structure and our hard drives. With that closed, we'll look at server folders. This is the point where I would either move the folder or create a new folder for the new drive. And if I have any questions, I can always go back and reference the E and the G drive that are there.